Bigger is better, especially in the world of flowers. When you buy flowers, you may wish to get the biggest bloom in the world. Whether it is one petal blooming across the table or the shrub producing tens of thousands of them. We all love a large bunch of beauty and fragrance. Here are the list of biggest flowers on earth. Rafflesia arnoldi. It is found only in the forests of Sumatra and Borneo in Indonesia. The world's largest single flower can reach a diameter of one meter and has the brightly colored texture of octopus tentacles. Unlike most sweetly scented flowers, Rafflesia arnoldi emits a rancid stench in order to attract insects that aid pollination. As an endangered plant, great conservation efforts are being taken to protect the Rafflesia flower from other wild flora. Chemicals like dimethyl disulfide, which contains sulfur, create the rotten smell from this parasitic plant. Orion Pet Lily. This is one of the biggest flowers on earth. Orion Pet Lilies are increasingly popular as new varieties continually hit the market. Fragrant 10-inch blooms appear in late summer on sturdy 5-foot stems. Try Big Brother, a pale yellow type that lives up to its name. Like most lilies, Orion Pets are best planted in late fall to early spring. In neutral or alkaline soils, watering with an acid-enriched fertilizer will help them thrive. The soil needs medium moisture, has to be well-drained, and only slightly acidic. King Protea Protea plants lead an exotic layer to a tropical flower arrangement. King Protea plants produce the largest flower heads of them all. Also known as sugar bush, these South African natives may grow outdoors as evergreen shrubs in USDA Zone 9s and warmer. The artichoke-like flowers may grow up to a foot wide. Make sure to water the plants deeply on a weekly basis for the first two years. After this, they are relatively low maintenance plants. Three to five inch tall shrubs come with reddish stems and rounded green leaves with five to 10 inch flowers. Amaryllis. Red amaryllis blooms are popular during the winter holidays. This gift plant comes in a number of colors and forms. Amaryllis are included in our list of the biggest flowers in the world because larger bulbs produce larger plants and the biggest flowers. So spend up on the premium bulbs from trusted sellers. The double record variety, with red and white streaking, will produce 8-inch flowers for indoor ambience. The amaryllis bulbs sold commercially are all cultivars derived from the hybrid of various hippostrinum species that have been developed over the years. Amaryllis is best grown in a relatively cool room under bright indirect lighting. Oriental Poppy This is one of the biggest flowers on earth. The fiery red poppy goes by the moniker Goliath. Oriental poppies sent long tap roots into the soil, helping them establish a long life in the spring garden. A bloom in excess of seven inches in diameter is not unheard of with happy plants. To pamper your poppies, fall sun and excellent drainage are the most important requirements. The mother plant of the oriental poppy returns each year and slowly expands over time to produce a large plant and more flowers. This is unlike the smaller poppy types, such as California poppies, bread seed poppy, the Flanders poppy, which require a seed to be planted every time. Hydrangea. This is one of the world's biggest flowers. The blooms just keep getting better with every new hybrid of hydrangea. This genus of plant has several species commonly used in landscaping, all of which are famous for having the biggest flowers. For example, Hydrangea abersensens, Annabelle, has 12-inch flower heads that are a stunning staple in many shade gardens. However, Incredible has increased in popularity. It blooms on new wood, but its stems will not flop under the weight of a rain-soaked petal. A sheltered site will help your hydrangeas shine through the blooming season. Dinner Plate Dahlia The term describes any dahlia variety with large impressive flowers. Most commercially available dinner plate dahlias are hybrid cultivars. If you have successfully grown dahlias in the past, it will be easy for you to grow a dinner plate cultivar like Hamari Gold. Like many big flowers in the world, dahlias like more of everything. More sun, more water, more feeding. You can remove side buds to enable plants direct all their energy in producing one giant flower. Also prop a stick for support and expect the blooms to mature in late summer. So you thought skincare routines are too much? Well, you've got to cultivate beauty, agreed? Let's chat in comments. Common Sunflower Sunflowers may set the standard for giant blooms in the flower garden, but not all are created equal. Mammoth is an heirloom variety that reliably produces 12-inch flower heads packing with oil-rich seeds. 
Sunzilla is a newer hybrid bred to be a sturdy 16-foot stock capable of supporting the giant blooms. Although some flowers are drought resistant, constant moisture and nutrient-rich soil will yield the largest flowers. Tree Peony Bush peonies with bomb-like flowers make a statement in the spring, but tree peonies can grow up to 10 inches wide on woody stems, and the stems do not die back to the ground in winter. Tree peonies, like Mrs. Fry's cultivar, are slow to mature, but the sight of a 5-foot flower with 50 blooms is worth the wait. Deeply divided foliage adds to the dramatic character. The color varieties are red, white, purple, yellow, and pink. Hardy Hibiscus The common potted hibiscus plants are tropical species that won't tolerate even a whiff of frost. But exotic flower lovers have a choice of a hardy malo plant, Hibiscus machuotos. This one can survive zone 4 winters while still boasting flower diameters in excess of 10 inches. Other varieties feature bronze or purple foliage to boast the ornamental value, like the gorgeous pink-flowered summer storm. In cold regions, protect the roots over winter with mulch or straw, especially when the plants are young. Moonflower Only night owls like some of us can appreciate the nocturnal blooms of this biggest flower ever. It swirls open at dusk to reveal 6-inch wide flowers. If you nick or soak the seeds, germination may occur in as little as a week. Combine the fast-growing vines with morning glories, and you will please hummingbirds and hummingbird moths alike. The blooms unfold from cone-shaped buds as the sun goes down, as well as on cloudy days. Just like every part of this giant flower is poisonous to humans, every part of the bush is also toxic to animals. Therefore, my friend, some beauties are not to be touched, but we don't mind your touch. Hit like, hit subscribe, anything you want to do. English Rose if large blooms have been your go-to choice of flower, it is time to get acquainted with an English rose. This is a variety developed from heirloom variations by breeder David Austin. He had the goal of full large blooms with a heavy fragrance. With petal counts of 140 or more per bloom, these large cup flowers are vase fillers with old world fragrance to spare. The lemon-hued Charles Darwin and the 200-petaled Spirit of Freedom are repeat bloomers, yielding six-inch flowers all season. Roses are prone to fungal diseases in moist conditions, so give them plenty of air and avoid watering the foliage when irrigating them. Coxcomb The otherworldly coral shapes of coxcomb make it a garden's focal point. Add to that the velvety texture and foot-long size, and you have a showstopper for the front yard. Coxcomb plants are easy to grow from seed, and they tolerate humidity as well as dry soil. The plants produce simple, oval leaves that are arranged alternatively along the stem. They often are born on a reddish stem. The herbaceous plants grow some 23 to 81 centimeters in height, depending on the variety. Butterfly Bush This biggest flower is a deciduous shrub that can grow up to 15 feet high. The alternating 5 to 10 inch long leaves have jagged edges. Butterfly Bush blooms from midsummer to early fall. It flowers form drooping or upright spikes at the end of branches. The nectar-rich flowers will attract an endless parade of butterflies over its blooming cycle, which usually stretches into four months. Beware of the possibility of rampant spreading because this biggest flower plant is known to be invasive in some regions. You can see various pictures taken by Stuart McPherson of the world's biggest butterfly bush flower. Camellia Common Japanese camellia is a broad-leaved evergreen shrub that may grow to a height of 25 feet, but more often 6 to 12. It has a spread of 6 to 10 feet. The dark green leathery leaves are 4 inches long. It can gain root in just 3 months. Despite being easy to grow in cooler areas, the flowers are frequently damaged by frost. They grow to a height and spread of around 2 meters or 6 feet after 10 years. Indeed one of the biggest flowers in the world. Globemaster Allium Add major drama to your garden with these 8 to 10 inch purple globes. Flower heads burst to life in late spring, featuring densely packed florets that make up the mega blooms. Growing 3 to 4 feet high, these alliums command attention in any landscape. The flower head consists of more than 1,500 small florets. Like all alliums, they make terrific long-lasting cut beauties. Even after the flowers are spent, the attractive seed pods hang around the garden for a long time. Globemaster is arguably the most well-known variety of Allium. Double White Angel's Trumpet 
The sweet fragrance from one plant is enough to freshen up the whole backyard. Pick a sunny spot for this shrub with well-drained soil. Beware though, parts of the angel's trumpet may be harmful to humans and pets. Why we love it? By early fall, as many as a hundred ruffled double blooms dangle from stems covered with tobacco-like foliage. Plus, the 10-inch flowers keep out deer. Imagine that, a flower that keeps out beasts. Who needs animal control? Clematis, the president. No, it's not a dude, just another flower. Find a bare fence, framework, or post, and let this climber do its thing. Purple flowers are as big as 8 inches, flourishing in May and June, and again in September and October. Hummingbirds might stop for a sweet treat during fall migration. Why we love it? The show doesn't stop when the bold bloom fades. That's because the seed heads are attractive even during the autumn months. California Giants Zinnia Brighten up your backyard with long-lasting, colorful zinnias. Plant a package of seeds in full sun, and soon a rainbow of colors emerge. These heirloom seeds were developed around the 1920s and still delight gardeners today. Why do we love it? Stems may reach four feet tall, and the semi-double blooms are five inches wide. Harvest these giants as cut flowers and add an explosion of color to your kitchen counter. The largest flowered varieties in the zinnia family, plants often reach five feet high and have a high occurrence of double flowers. Cobalt Dreams Delphinium the flowering spikes on cobalt dreams raise two-foot towers of blue vegetation. This delphinium is part of the new millennium series, which tolerates heat and humidity along with cold. Delphiniums bloom on tall spikes, so they are commonly used in borders or as background plants. They bloom in early summer and often again late in the season or early fall. The tall spikes of these flowers need some type of support while blooming so they remain head high. Titan Arum Rather than being a single flower, the Titan Arum, the cluster of flowers called an inflorescence that can reach over 10 feet in height. Titan Arum is a herbaceous flowering plant of the Araceae family known for its unpleasant foul-smelling inflorescence. The inflorescence can grow over 10 feet tall. The plant itself can reach 7 to 12 feet in height and weigh as much as 50 kilograms. The plant is endemic to western Sumatra, but is grown in botanical gardens worldwide. Its inflorescence has a fragrant spadix of flowers wrapped up in a deep green spathe and is dark burgundy red on the inside. The spadix resembles a large baguette that is hollow. It bears two rings of small flowers with the upper ring bearing the male flowers and the lower one covered with bright red-orange carpels. Both male and female flowers are part of this same inflorescence. The male flowers open a day or two after the opening of the female flowers. This prevents the flowers from self-pollinating. Which flower amazed you the most? Do you want to introduce any of them into your garden soon? Let us know in our comment section below. And since we brought you flowers, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, just hit subscribe and turn your notifications on. Until next time, do take care of yourself.